Hi. What we are going to do today is we're going to do an experiment to see if our external software instrument is playing at 432 hertz, which is what our project is set at to play. So um, first off, I want to mention um, in order to set your project to 432 hertz, you're going to go up to record, recording settings, tuning, and then you're going to lower the scent field here by negative 31.8. I think you can actually do 31.9 or in other stuff too, but I always just, I have 31.8 memorized. I also have mine, my temperament here um, set to a fixed scale, the Chinese scale, fourth century. Okay, you, uh, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to play this first track here. And the note that I'm playing is B flat. Um, so uh, what I want to do is I want to view this uh, um, note that I'm playing with a tuner. And so you just go into audio effects and then go to metering and then to tuner and that'll give you your, your tuner you can put on that track so you can view with this meter what's being played. Um, and it'll tell you which note and everything. So let's go ahead and play it and see what we got. Okay, so with that Chinese scale, it's this particular B flat that I'm playing, or A sharp, is um, a little bit flat because that's the harmonic and that's the temperament that it's set to. So that's what that is. And that's, that's right, that's about what we want. Um, so let's go ahead and look at Loom and see what it's doing. I'll open up Loom here, and then I'm going to put a tuner on this track as well. And we'll see what this track gets us. And that is sharp. So it's still playing at 440 hertz. I tried a couple of different settings within Loom and I wasn't able to figure it out. If you know how to do it, that'd be great to learn. I tried playing with the different tunings here for the temperaments, I guess. That's what these uh, voicings are. I also tried uh, shifting the global pitch. Um, and there just isn't a really solid, like, numbers way to um, change the pitch here. You can change the pitch here and just watch the... Um, tuner, but if you're using a voicing that has many different frequencies and many different um, noises and sounds in there, like bells and um, whatever it is, it's going to be hard to really get that pitch accurate. So anyway, I found this way to work around, and that would be to place the pitch shifter in the track. And the pitch shifter comes standard with logic. The default, when you go there, it is um, uh, semitones raised by seven semitones. We don't want that. We just want it at zero. Um, and we want the sense to be at negative 32. And then we also want the uh, mix to be at 100%. Because we want to shift the entire thing, not just a little bit of it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, press play now. Actually, let me put one more tuner on there so that you can see before and after the pitch shifter. Okay, let's go ahead and press play. All right, now we're closer. We got right at 432 hertz, which is that B flat that we're playing. And that's in tune. We can go a little bit deeper by lowering their sense a little bit more if we wanted to. 
But in any case, that's the workaround I found. If you know of a different way that I would love to learn it, let me know. Um, in any case, I hope you find this helpful, and I hope that your external is instruments are also playing at 432 hertz. And thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.